Well, what is Karen Wilson? What? You were asking earlier, Clive, what has Ronnie Sullivan got left? What has Karen Wilson got left? This is a massive test of his character here. Two blows in the last frame, missing the red and 61. And then, obviously, a massive bit of fortune that his opponent had in going for a very reckless cross double. On the last red, and in fact, leaving Wilson snookered. Still, O'Sullivan rose to the challenge. He still had to pop the balls. Yeah, it has to be said, pink to yellow <laughs> was just a magnificent piece of cueing under pressure. Magnificent piece of queuing required here. That was asking a lot. So Wilson is first in. And straight away. OK, there's a two or three loose reds, but he must be tempted. He's just got a perfect angle on the black. He can stun into the, the right half of the pack. Even if he loses a cue ball at the table, there's that red over the left middle. I think he's got to play the shot. Played it to perfection. Oh. I can't believe that. Clara Wilson one, Ronnie O'Sullivan seven. It looks like he's not destined to win this match, Clive. Well, that was certainly a body blow, as was the last frame and the circumstances in which he lost it. this by a mile I thought for a horrible second the rope was going to hit the black and go in the corner pocket yes his queuing was slightly impeded but shouldn't have made too much difference Chance for O'Sullivan. I think the two or three things that have happened to Kyron Wilson in the last ten minutes or so have knocked the stuffing out of him. One.
foul. Oh, the waistcoat foul, would you believe it? Ronnie O'Sullivan one, Tyron Wilson five. Well, what's going to happen next <laughs> in this final? That's so careless. I mean, he looked, he looked to see where his waistcoat was and then he still got down and fouled it. we go. Wow. Spotted by the referee, Paul Collio. O'Sullivan probably wouldn't have felt it. Oh. Kyron Wilson's turn to play a specul speculative double. Okay, it wasn't anywhere near as reckless as it one. And Ronnie played in the previous frame, but got the double kiss in the red. He's left a pot to left middle. He shot this from the middle pocket jaw. He cured that well. That'll actually make him feel a bit better, that shot. Six. Seven. Oh, he's got choices here how hard he wants to hit this. Thirteen. Screwing the cue ball out, I think. Now he's going to land nicely on the colour. Well, the answer is absolutely Four, yes. Is that the shot that's going to lead to victory for Ronnie O'Sullivan? Can he enact re reprieve man syndrome? When Wilson was on 61 in the last frame, he must have thought he was going to lose in the next couple of minutes. 19. But he managed to win the frame, and now he's got the advantage in the decider. Well, he played a poor shot in the blue, though. This is missable. That's safely in. 20. You can visibly see how hard Ryan Sullivan's trying here, putting everything into these shots. I don't know where he's found this victory from, but it looks ever more certain that he's going to find it. 25. He's been hugely helped, of course, by well, Karen missing that red on 61 26. in the previous frame and also couple of massive slices of good fortune. Karen Wilson was in first in this frame. Played the correct shot into the bunch. I was horrified to see a red go in the middle. But the way the reds are placed now. 33. You can't see a mistake. Thirty-four. Forty. Forty-one. I'm watching Kyron Wilson in his chair, and he looks devastated. It's going to take him a while to get over this one, I think. 
after such a great effort. Going from a big deficit to the brink of victory. Yeah, just one positional shot off that black. He left himself a tricky red on 61. 47. And then on. You have to say, when his run of the balls has been horrific. But. 48. You've got to give some credit to this man. He had to do the clearance in the last frame. And it looks very much like he's going to eke out this victory. 50 in front. Fifty-three. And that is the ball with Sears worth and play. Fifty-four. What an incredible match. At 5-1 to O'Sullivan, it looked like a runaway. Fifty-nine. At 8 5, he was comfortably ahead. 60. But at 9 8, he was on the brink of defeat and was rescued, at least in part, 67. by an outrageously kind run of the ball when he rashly attempted a cross double on the last red. Full marks to O'Sullivan, though, for the way that he's taken this 75. deciding frame. Commiserations to Wilson, who so unluckily knocked the red into the middle pocket as he opened the bunch. Yeah, of course, he's going to finish with a century. 83. Eighty-five. Eighty-eight. It will be O'Sullivan's eleventh century of the tournament. Ninety-two. Ninety-seven. So there it is. 103. O'Sullivan finishes in style of the century. The clearance of 110. He beats Carlin Wilson by 10 frames to 9 in the most dramatic of matches.